What's new from Apple? There's the new iPhone 16 Pro, built for Apple intelligence. And it comes with the all-new camera control, giving you an easier way to quickly access your camera tools. The new Apple Watch Series 10 has our biggest display and our thinnest design ever. And this? It's the sound of active noise cancellation, now available on one of two new AirPods 4 models. So quiet. Check out all of the new products and new features at Apple.com. You can even buy yourself something new. See Apple.com for product availability updates. Apple Intelligence coming this fall. My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. This is Optimal Finance Daily, making friends in retirement and before by Kathleen Coxwell of newretirement.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Welcome back to another bonus Sunday episode. This is where we get to hear from one of the other shows in our podcast network. And today's comes from Optimal Relationships Daily. So with that, here's Greg as we optimize your life. Making Friends in Retirement and Before by Kathleen Coxwell of NewRetirement.com Did you notice that making friends got harder as you got older? Sure, you probably made new connections with every new job, moves, and when your children started school and got involved in activities. However, if you're like most people, you probably found it was hard to invest the time to develop and maintain deep and meaningful connections. Your family, career, and spouse were likely your priorities. Making friends in retirement can be even harder, but incredibly important and rewarding. Let's take a look at why making friends in retirement is difficult why it's important, and how to do it. The lack of social connection is real for boomers. The fading of social connections is not in your imagination. According to analysis of the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics' American Time Use Survey, Americans spend less time with friends and more time alone. In their 20s, Americans spend more than two hours a day with friends, but this drops off a lot in their 30s. By 40, time with friends is cut in half, to less than one hour. And it's not just time with friends that slows. As you age, you're likely to be spending more and more time alone, not with friends, family, or coworkers. In their 30s, the time Americans spend alone starts to skyrocket, starting at around four hours a day and ending with an average of eight hours alone in their 80s. Loneliness is no fun, and it's not good for your health. Researchers have found mounting evidence linking loneliness to physical illness, and to functional and cognitive decline. In fact, the dangers of loneliness are on par with obesity, light smoking, and anxiety. Numerous studies have found that feeling lonely or being socially isolated increases your risk by 29% for heart disease and 32% for stroke. Yes, you heard that correctly. Being overweight or smoking is actually healthier than being lonely. Additional research links loneliness to cognitive decline and poor immune system function. It's even been linked to an increased chance of diabetes, sleep disorders, high blood pressure, and Alzheimer's disease. So, how do you make friends in retirement? The older people get, the more challenging it can be to make friends. And that's especially true after retirement, as work is one of the most common ways to meet people. Research from the Stanford Center on Longevity shows, of all the age groups, Baby boomers show the most signs of disengaging from traditional modes of social relationships, said Laura Carstensen, founding director of the center and a psychology professor at Stanford University. So, what do you do? Here are seven tips for making friends in retirement. Number one, figure out what you like to do and find others like you. Common interests are one of the strongest hallmarks of friendship. As such, if you're looking for friends in retirement, You'll want to find people who like what you like. Join a club. No matter what you enjoy doing, you can probably find a local club where you can meet people like you. Adopt a dog. If you're friendly, and your dog is too, you will naturally start talking with other dog owners. Start going to the dog park at a regular time, and you're likely to start making friends. Don't want to leave it to chance? 
Try the app Bark Happy. The location-based app Bark Happy helps you connect with nearby dogs and arrange hangouts with their owners. For fun future doggy date ideas, check out the app's map, which lists dog-friendly businesses and local dog-friendly events. Volunteer. The shared purpose of volunteering with a group of people can help establish meaningful connections. Or get a fun part-time job. Do you remember lifeguarding as a teen, waiting tables in college, grinding out long hours at a startup? If yes, you probably also remember some good friends from those experiences. Work can help you establish friendships, and you don't have to select a grueling job. Instead, find something fun and low-key. Work at a nursery or the local golf course, and see what kinds of friends you can make there. Number two, reconnect with old friends. Maybe you already have people in your network whose company you really enjoy, but you don't see them on a regular basis. Maybe now is time to make them real friends again. Call them up and reconnect. Share an old photo and find out what's new with them and make plans. Number three, invest time. Friendships feel organic and magical, but when you boil it down, they actually take investments of time. Jeffrey Hall, an associate professor of communication studies at the University of Kansas, found that it takes between 40 and 60 hours to form a casual friendship with someone in the first six weeks of knowing them, between 80 and 100 hours to transform a casual friend into a friend, and more than 200 hours to transition from friends to good or best friends. Make sure you're allocating part of your day, every day, to developing and maintaining friendships, old and new. Send a text, pick up the phone and call, send a note or a little gift, and most importantly, Get face-to-face. Number four, establish regular meetups. One of the reasons that clubs are so effective at helping people make friends is that there is a schedule to follow. If you find someone you think you would enjoy spending time with, develop a regular schedule for seeing them. Tuesday hikes, Saturday coffees, every other week dinner parties, anything. Just make sure you meet regularly. Number five, there's an app for that. Swipe right and left. While meeting friends in your regular life is possible, you might want to jump online. Did you know that there are numerous apps designed to help you establish platonic social connections, not just romantic ones? In the language of online dating, you swipe left if you want to pass on a potential match, or right if you want to connect. Here are four good online options for finding friends in retirement. Nextdoor. Nextdoor is a private social network exclusively for your neighborhood. It's not uncommon to see people posting about wanting to find new friends around a specific type of activity or interest. Bumble BFF Bumble is a popular dating app. They also have a service Bumble BFF. It's designed to help you make friendships in pretty much exactly the same way. Set up a profile with photos and a blurb, and then browse other users' profiles. Meetup Meetup is a platform for finding and building local communities. People use Meetup to meet new people, learn new things, find support, get out of their comfort zones, and pursue their passions together. Join an established group or start your own. And Friender. On Friender, you get matched to people in your area who share your interests. Number six, keep trying. Finding a friend is a lot like finding a romantic partner. You have to invest time and try out different people. You may have to audition quite a few frogs before finding your pal charming. And number seven, be a good friend yourself. If you want friends, you need to be a good friend yourself. According to Psychology Today, here are some of the traits of being a good friend. Honest, trustworthy, and loyal. A global study found that honesty is most important in friendship. Psychology Today writes that, quote, Disclosing what we're thinking and feeling helps us build trust and intimacy. Honesty is a relationship builder and a means for connection and comfort. It can also be a relationship mender. Giving honest feedback or owning up to mistakes can help us manage conflict and maintain our friendships. End quote. Caring and empathetic. It's important to offer respect and empathy to friends. Friends are there for each other when they're in need. Friends want to be heard, seen, known, and understood. Ask questions and listen to answers. And fun and congenial. You're not always going to be happy. But if you want to be a good friend, you have to sometimes be fun to be around. Have a sense of humor. Offer goodwill and cheer. You just listened to the post titled, 
Making Friends in Retirement and Before by Kathleen Coxwell of NewRetirement.com. Buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. It's a simple concept, but not necessarily an easy concept. Right now, high interest rates have crushed the real estate market. Prices are falling and properties are available at a discount, which means Fundrise believes now is the time to expand the Fundrise flagship fund's billion dollar real estate portfolio. You can add the Fundrise flagship fund to your portfolio in minutes by visiting fundrise.com slash OFD. That's F-U-N-D-R-I-S-E dot com slash OFD. Carefully consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Fundrise flagship fund before investing. This and other information can be found in the fund's prospectus at fundrise.com slash OFD. This is a paid advertisement. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. And thanks so much to Kathleen for this post. Full of many good ideas. And a special shout out to meetup.com, which, as she said, is an amazing place to meet like-minded people. They are not a sponsor, but I've had incredibly good experiences on Meetup personally, and I'm always pumping its tires. I'll never stop. I recommend that to anyone, whether or not they're retired. But again, just an incredibly important article all around, and I think it's particularly valuable for retirees, not only because of the research that she cited that talks about how much more time alone we spend in retirement, But also because, you know, in retirement, we might find it easier to stop building anything or stop working towards specific objectives. And that's not limited to just friendships. With work behind us, relaxation and stasis can feel like not just an enjoyable, but a worthy goal. But healthy personalities at all ages depend on constant pursuit, working towards something that pulls them forward, whether or not these objectives are even met. So if we're in a position in which that level of pursuit might be missing, as well as our time around people, that's two really critical components of life that, when gone, will only accelerate the aging process for the worse. So I really hope anyone and everyone was listening up today, and thanks again to Kathleen for sharing. That is going to do it for today, though, everybody. Once again, I appreciate you stopping in and making another episode possible. Have a marvelous rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for a post from a brand new author. That's where your optimal life awaits.